Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Doctor Who, this is season 17 and this is part one of The Creature from the Pit. If this is anything like The Certain Pit, I will be extremely happy because I love that. I love that whole two-parter. It's one of my favourite episodes actually from Newer Who. Um, last episode we saw the Jaggeroth, we saw one Jaggeroth, Count Scaglione, trying to change the course of Earth's history. We were in Paris. We had a really nice little holiday, actually. So, as the Doctor said in the last episode, we have no idea where we're going. So, this could literally be anywhere. I'd be surprised if it was on Earth. I would like it if we go elsewhere um, and just shake it up slightly. Because um, last episode, obviously, was Earth. And... I just kind of like it when we go see different planets. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for the most out of this. Let's just go. Are we on Earth? Is this a sacrifice or a funeral? Ooh. What the hell is happening? You creepy, creepy woman. It's like it's snowing. Peter gave himself up for lost and shed big tears. I've been cleaning out number four hold. You've got the most awful lot of junk in there. <laughs> Something terribly exciting's about to happen. Oh, really? What? Mr. McGregor. Junk? Did you say junk? I don't carry junk. Oh, what do you call this lot, then? That's it's all necessary. Full <laughs> strip. Give that to me. Come on, give it to me. All right, but what can you possibly do with the old jawbone of an ass? Quite a lot. Do you have Philistine? That jawbone's been about a bit, you know. The transceiver is I don't fully like his operative. voice. Yes, but it's an awful nuisance. You mean you kept getting calls from Gallifrey all the time? Yes. Would you do this? Yes. Would you do that? Plug it in. What is she wearing? The transceiver has never been used properly before. Well, there's a fault in it, then, isn't there? That was no distress call. In the equipment. Well, I'm delighted to hear it. But your last statement... That's... We've probably We've landed. landed. I wonder where we are. What is it? A jungle. No idea. Let's find out, shall we? It looks like a butter bean. <laughs> jungle. Is it? What is that thing? An egg. Yeah. Well, part of the shell, anyway. Oh my god! I can't see the rest of it. But it's metallic. Mm. You mean metal birds laying metal eggs? What the? <gasps> How is it alive? Can't you hear? Wind chimes. It's the same noise we heard in the TARDIS. I wouldn't wander off on your own. Expression stands to reason. Stethoscope! Relax us to set up She's gone. They always go. It's definitely the shell that's a transmitter. She's gone. What is transmitting? They're like the Android invasion pods. Almost looks as if it almost looks as if it were woven. You might want to get out of here. Romana, can you come here a moment, please? <laughs> oh, hello. What can the hell are those things? things? Look, I, I don't want to stand on protocol hands or anything like that, but couldn't you at least do the dumb thing and take me to your leader? Wait! Wait! What are those things? Like Wolf dogs, weeds. aren't they? Weeds? What, plant weeds? Of course. Specially grown in the Lady Adastra's nurseries. She, uh... Why is Romana? Why do you call it the place of death? Because anyone found here is automatically condemned to death. Ah, my commander. Oh, that commander. <laughs> Hello, commander. What is it? It's tricky to explain. Secure him! You're not going to leave that easily. Travels. I hope you're not lying, Doctor. You just whacked him straight in the stocks. The Lady Adrasta will want to question you. Adrasta. It's all right that they would please things. Ooh. I like a lurker. Of course, we're being followed. This isn't the no correct talking. attire for a jungle. Nice place you've got here, old chap. Very green. Silence. Yes. So you escape from the pit? Ah! 
Ambush. That's your man and married off. Where's your man? Captured. Shall we go after the girl, madam? The wolfweeds can follow the tracks. And lead us into another ambush. Mm. No travellers safe. It's like Robin Unless Hood. If you want to get your throat cut, you'd better keep up with us. Well, what about Romana? I'm afraid they kill her quickly. Come on. Lovely. They're like magpies, aren't they? Such shape, such form, such delightfully high metal content. This is one of Lady Adastra's ladies in waiting. She has to be. Look at her clothes. What do her clothes matter to me? Cloth is easy enough to come by any. Uh, she's not valuable. Oh, that's yeah, nice to hear. No, no, dear. There's got to be a coup. Well, well, of course, you must vote. It's so vote. <laughs> He's got a head for you or something. Come on. Put your finger up like that. So good. Bad. There we go. Sorry about that, fellas. A bit incommodious. It doesn't seem to have incommoded you too much, Doctor. No, it doesn't. I suppose you could say the yoke's on him if you're the sort of person who said that sort of thing. Anyone found there has to die. To death. Oh, you knew. Well, don't you think you could at least put up a notice? Tell me, what kind of creature laid it? A yeah, mechanical I one. I talk to you about these things, but at the moment I'm much more concerned about Romana. The wolf weed? No, the bandits. All of this Kill makeup and hairstyles and everything just reminds me of Naboo. No, she's not. Rock, paper, yeah. scissors. <laughs> Lady Adrasta, whoever she might be, is going to hunt you down for kidnapping me. What do you think she'll do if she finds out you've killed me? She'll kill you. Who are you, Milady? <laughs> Just traveller. That's the first intelligent question you've asked. I'm a traveller. At least there's one Sit. that's kind of cognitive. Sit. <laughs> yeah, bow down. That's. Oh, <laughs> here he is! Surprise! What is this thing? Later, Doctor, about the eggshell. Extraordinary texture. Because it can only be detected on very low frequency wavelengths. Like K9 will have one. What's the shell screaming about? Ah, who are these? The Undertakers? Engineers, Doran and Tolland. Ah, how do you do? Why? If it's not an egg, what, what is it? it? Well, Engineer Doran, in his latest uh, paper on the subject, has proved conclusively that it is part of an ancient building. But it isn't only birds that lay eggs, is it? Fishes nope. do. Oh, big fish. Ooh, reptiles. Or, or a big reptile. It's, it's impossible. We detected nothing. It's not but this man did. It's mistaken. Well, to be fair, I did have a couple of gadgets which he probably didn't like a teaspoon on an open mind. No, please, no! Oh, shit! Where is he going it? to the pit? Come and see. Perhaps you will find it instructive. What makes you think that you can get out of here alive? The fact that she's got you on My your friend. knees? K9? Stun them? To the doctor, yes? <laughs> yes, mistress. <Mr. laughs> Good. K9. K9. Back away slowly. What's this? A pit. We call it the pit. Ah, you have such a way with words. Really? Sacrifice him? I think again, after all, he may be a bit of an idiot, but at least he's a conscientious idiot, and even bad engineers are hard to come by on this side of the galaxy. Ah! Oh, look at the skeletons. Bison, bring! slightly hooked already on this i thoroughly enjoyed that i love that we're on this new planet it does remind me slightly of star wars a little bit especially the uh, the headdresses and the makeup i love that we've got this pit i actually love that they didn't show us what was in there and we only saw the flash of green on doran's face 
poor Doran, he barely had a chance to kind of establish himself in this story and he's already gone. Um, there's something a bit off with Romana in this for me, especially when she was, unless it's an act, you know, when K-9 died. Um, I'm hoping it was an act because obviously what the doctor did was very much so when he kind of comforted her and then pitted himself. Um, I'm really looking forward to seeing what is actually inside this pit. I like it when they keep us from us. That's one of my favourite things that Doctor Who does is when we don't see whatever it is we're fighting. Um, we don't even know if this thing is there of its own free will. They could have captured the poor creature and, keep, and they're keeping it down there. So it's kind of just as trapped as you can get, really. We we don't know, really know what the situation is with this yet. But as I say, I'm looking forward to kind of seeing what happens next, where this goes. And basically try and understand why we've got this metal egg, what this egg is transmitting. We saw that... I can only kind of describe it as art on the wall and the doctor kind of questioned it. it looked a bit like a giant bath plug. Um, and why it seems that metal is so kind of valuable here, especially to these guys that seem to kind of survive as bandits, as outlaws. I'm going to go watch the next episode and I'll see you later. Thank you.